Good day everyone. Today we will be discussing the angles and its measure. First, let's have a short review about the different kinds of angles. We have the acute angles, which measures less than 90 degrees, but greater than zero degrees. We also have the right angle, which measures exactly 90 degrees. An obtuse angle, which measures 90 degrees, but less than, or greater than 90, but less than 180. And when we say angle bisector, it is a line that divides the angles into two congruent or equal parts. Now let's try to solve some problems, problems regarding angles and its measure. Let's say we have in the figure OY, so it's ray OY, bisects angle XOZ. If measure angle XOY is 42, where is XOY? 42. Find the measure of angle ZOY. ZOY. In our condition, OY is our angle bisector. So that means it divides this angle into two equal parts. So if XOY is 42, therefore measure angle XOY is also 42 degrees because they are equal or the same. Okay. For number one, that is 42 degrees. Number two, if measure angle XOZ, where is XOZ, is 75, find measure XOY, XOY, and ZOY. So in our number two, XOZ, so the measure of the angle is 75. 75. We're going to find the two angles. So of course the two angles are equal so we just need to divide 75 into 2 so 75 divided by 2 75 divided by 2 is 32.5 uh, 37.5 degrees of course measure angle ZOY is also 37.5 degrees why 37.5? Because if we're going to add 37.5 plus 37.5, that is equal to 75 degrees. And we know that they are the same because OY bisect our angle. XOZ. Now, number 3. If measure angle XOZ is equal to X plus 7, XOZ is X plus 7 and XOY is X minus 2 XOY is X minus 2 find X and the measure of each angle so we're going to find X first then the measure of each angle now since the two angles are given so we know that measure angle XOY is equal to measure of the angle YOZ they are equal so let us substitute X plus 7 is equal to X minus 2 X okay this is XOZ so the measure of So this is wrong because our given is the whole part of the angle x plus 7 so this is wrong so now to get x o y x o y we need to subtract measure angle x o z minus measure angle ZOY 
So we have x plus 7 minus x minus 2. Now we have x plus 7 negative times negative x. This is undefined. So if that's the case, the x will be cancelled out. So, okay. We cannot apply this. So what we need to do is to come up with this one. So we know that x OZ, the x plus 7, is equal to twice of z o y, twice of x minus 2. Okay? The whole angle is equal to twice of x minus 2 because these two are equal. Now we have x plus 7 is equal to 2 times x, 2x minus 2. Uh, 2x minus 2 times negative 2, that will become 4. So get the value of x. So we have 7 plus 4 is equal to 2x minus x. So x will be 11. Now since x is 11, just substitute. So the measure of angle x o z is 11 plus 7 that is 11 degrees and the measure of z o y is 11 minus 7 that will give us 4 degrees okay that would be the answer now another exercise in this illustration p r ray p r bisect angle QPT QPT so, that means this angle is equal to the other angle and PS PS bisects RPT so ray PS bisect RPT that means this angle is also equal to this angle now let's try to answer number one and two. If measure angle QPR is equal to 3x plus 14 and measure angle RPT is equal to 5x minus 6, find QPT. So in our given QPR, the measure of the angle, and RPT, RPT, find QPT. Q, P, T. Okay? We know that Q, P, R, Q, angle Q, P, R is equal to angle R, P, T. So we know that measure angle Q, P, R is equal to measure angle R, P, T. Now let us substitute the given. QPR is equal to 3x plus 14. So copy 3x plus 14 is equal to RPT 5x minus 6. Now let us solve for x. Addition property of equality. So 14 plus 6 is equal to 5x. Move to the right minus 3x. So we have 20 is equal to 5x minus 3x, that is 2x. Now, divide by 2, x is equal to 10. Since x is equal to 10, we're going to find QPT. QPT. So let us substitute. We know that x is 10, so we have 3 times 10 plus 14. That will give us 30 plus 14, 44. If QPR is 44, therefore RPT is also 44. Now QPT is equal to 44 plus 44. So we have 88 degrees. So 88 degrees is the final answer. Second problem. 
if measure angle RPS, RPS is equal to 26 minus 3x, and SPT is equal to 3x plus 2, find measure angle QPR. QPR. Okay? First, let us find this, the measure of the two angles. So let us find x first. We know that RPS, or angle RPS, is equal to angle SPT. So they are equal, so let us equate, since they are equal, 26 minus 3x is equal to 3x plus 2. Now, solve for x. So we have negative 3x transpose minus 3x is equal to 2 minus 26. So negative 6x is equal to negative 24. Divide by negative 6. So x is equal to 6, 12, 18, 24. So 4. If x is 4, we can find the value of the following angle measure. So we have substitute 3 times 4 plus 12. So we have plus 2, 12. For a 12 plus 2, we have 14. Now, if this is 14, the other angle is also 14. 14 plus 14, we have the total of this angle, 28. We know that PRT is equal to QPR. So 28, this is also 28. Therefore, measure angle QPR is equal to 28 plus 28, 56 degrees. So measure angle QPR is 56 degrees. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.